Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi, hello -y. my name is Loey. Today I am back with you guys again with 50 TikToks from the scary and haunted sides of TikTok. How are you guys doing? I feel like we haven't done one of these in a very long time, weirdly, like it's been a while. But today I have 50 of the scariest ones that you tagged me in. If you ever want to participate in these videos, you can follow me at LoeyBugXO over on TikTok and give me a tag in any scary stuff that you might find. I always love seeing what you guys are watching. Today is going to be a long one, so get yourself a drink, get yourself a snack, and settle in for these scary TikToks. So the first few videos come from TikTok user Haley Kobach, who has been having some really strange experiences basically ever since the government came out with that whole aliens are real thing. Yeah, I need to make a video about that probably. But anyways, Haley has been having all of these really strange things happen to her basically ever since then. This video in particular went super, super viral, gaining millions of views since it was first posted. I'm kind of freaking out right now and my hair is standing up on my arms. I, I really don't even know how to explain this right now. Randomly, my closet door, I noticed has been open. And every time I just think that I've forgotten to close it or whatever. So it's closed right now. My hair is standing up on my arms because I have the freaking chills right now. Because it literally looks like something is standing inside my closet at the door. I just noticed that and... My body is so scared right now, I can't even freaking move. Now, Haley spotted that creepy thing outside of her door, and she did investigate, but never found anything. However, this is far from the only strange thing that has happened to her recently. Ever since Haley has started to post about the strange things happening to her, she's been getting mysterious texts, calls, and even letters in the mail from people she doesn't know, from numbers she doesn't recognize. And all of them tell her to stop posting. Ever since the government announced that aliens literally exist, weird stuff has been happening. It started with hearing things outside and seeing things in my woods. I just feel like I'm being watched. And then I got a letter in the mail from, I, I don't even know who it's from. They're trying to silence me and to stop posting videos about the things that have been happening here. We never see what it is that she's seeing. Whatever it is that they're telling her to stop posting, it doesn't seem like anything's ever actually captured on camera. And it's strange that things never happen on camera, right? I dug pretty far into this account because multiple of these TikToks have gone fairly viral. Sometimes weird things do happen, like in this video in particular. The lights and power shut off in the room that she's in as she's talking about her bizarre experiences. And my light switch is turned on, so that's cool. All right. I, I was literally just laying in my bed and I kept hearing stuff outside. Guys, I just saw something. In Do you see that? But the part that concerns me the most about Haley's story is when she says that she's been seeing things in the trees. Oh my gosh, it is so muddy. So, like, up in there last night and yesterday, I thought I saw, like, I don't know what I saw, but... I don't know if it looked like something was sitting in there, but I don't know. I cannot emphasize this enough. If there's one thing I've learned from watching all of the scary videos that I watch, it's that you never look in the trees. If you see something, if something freaked you out in the trees, no, you didn't. It's not there. Just go on, mind your business. It doesn't concern you. Haley's story is ongoing, but I noticed the phrase, I make videos for entertainment in her bio. So maybe eventually we'll learn what it is that's haunting her, whether it's aliens or the government or ghosts, a ghost who really loves conspiracy theories, a ghost that hates conspiracy theories. I'll keep an eye on it and let you know if there's anything else to see. The next one comes from the TikTok user, Haunted TikToker, though I'm unsure of the original poster's origins. It kind of reminded me of this video that we watched on stream one night here on YouTube and I just wanted to show it. In this video, the person recording is with their elderly mother. The poster's mother is asking if they can see the little girl in the room with them. What, what is amazing, Mom? Can you see this little pink girl here? 
A pink girl? No. You can't. No, I can't see the pink girl. Party toy or parter. They're having a party? What kind of, is it a birthday party with kids? Who, who's having the birthday party? Oh, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't think any of this meant anything to the person who originally posted the TikTok, but it made me think about, again, this video that we watched on stream one night, and we talked about how at the end of some people's lives, they can see like their deceased loved ones. Loved ones will come and get them and take them home. And there's this lady I follow on TikTok. Her name is Nurse Hadley. She's a hospice nurse and she has tons of experiences with her patients having these experiences with the afterlife like right before they pass. Hadley even wrote a book about this and I just find it all very, very interesting. But because I watch Nurse Hadley's videos, I know that it is not uncommon for people to get these sudden bursts of energy or see things that aren't there or become very, very talkative in their final hours. I don't know if that's what's happening here, but I think it's a really interesting and incredible phenomenon. Next up, we have a TikTok from Seth of Seven Year Witch. Seth has never exactly had any paranormal experiences before, but ever since he picked up this old guitar at a yard sale, strange things have been happening. I've never had an issue with ghosts or any weird, unexplainable stuff in my house, but I bought a guitar the other week at a garage sale from this old lady down the street and every time I pick it up or strum it or play it, really weird shit happens and I'll show you. I did some Lotus, like very 80s looking guitar and every time I strum, like that, shit like that happens every time I mess with this thing, shit like that. I love this video. Maybe it's like the former owner just kind of rocking out with him. Like, yeah, you play that guitar. Then we have a really viral video that comes from Jalen underscore Rich. It's captioned that one time my best friend and I saw a ghost on the double shot at the Santa Cruz boardwalk. We were there after hours and the ride suddenly started going. Watch closely. Okay, but the boardwalk closed like half an hour ago. Like that looks like a person, right? You can see somebody sitting there as the ride goes down, but then it gets to a certain point and it's literally like they vanish into thin air. Maybe the ghost is just really enjoying his trip to the boardwalk and the afterlife, which is all well and good, but actually why was the ride still going? Like after the place was clearly closed, why was the ride still moving? Could be haunted, could be spooky, could be someone who forgot to turn it off. I don't really know. For our next TikTok, I'm really sorry in advance if you hate mannequins. This comes from at Rick Wade, a self-described seer who connects with past loved ones and people's energy. And he had this kind of weird experience with a mannequin that a lot of you guys tagged me in. All right, you guys, we're gonna, we're gonna go here. Now, if you look at this, not a doll, mannequin, she is looking down. She's definitely looking down. In the pictures that we took, She's looking right at me. So, I don't know if she's upset with me. Maybe she likes me. I don't know. I see what Rick is talking about because like in the second photo, it really does look like the mannequin is looking right at him. But I don't know if it's like an illusion because of the camera or an angle or the flash. I honestly don't know. But if I had that happen with a mannequin, no matter what rational explanation there could be, I would be so freaked out. So freaked out. What do you guys think about that one? Do you think it could be like a trick of the camera or do you think that this mannequin is haunted? Then Haunted TikToker posted this compilation of flesh pedestrians and shapeshifters and mimics.
Hello. She wants to come with us on. Coming in from planting those trail cameras. The vultures everywhere. It's odd. some creepy clips, but the scariest one is definitely the guy on the horse. Like you can hear something shout, hey, clear as day in that clip. It's actually a video from that one cowboy who has a ranch in Arizona called Jagged Spur Ranch. He regularly experiences things like this out there and talks about them on his TikTok account. Another video from Haunted TikToker, I got tagged in a ton of these, and again, unsure of the original source. It's ring camera footage of these two kids in the kitchen saying back and forth, I ain't scared of no ghosts, until suddenly a ghost turns up and their tune completely changes. <laughs> poor kids are bawling. They're so freaked out. I feel so bad for them. But honestly, if I was that ghost, I would have taught them the same lesson. Like, yes, small children do have a healthy respect of the paranormal. I'm sure that their parents ended up seeing this and got such a kick out of it that they published it somewhere, and that's how it ended up on this TikTok account. And one more video here from Haunted TikToker, though this time we have glitches in real life. This first clip really had me convinced that a mermaid skeleton seaweed thing was on a beach somewhere until we realize it's just a dog. And the other videos in this are creepy. There's like a two-headed deer, but it seems like it's just one deer in front of a tree and another deer behind a tree. But the reason I'm showing you this is because of the video at the very end. Watch this and tell me it's not the craziest thing you've ever seen. I am witnessing a glitch in the matrix and I swear to God, if this squirrel doesn't come back out, I'm gonna have a panic attack because, see, do you see his nose? I'm not going crazy. Oh my God, wait, stop it. There's nothing there. There's not a grate there. There's not a grate there. Where did this just come from? What the f He just came out of nothing! Where did that squirrel actually come from? Because I am confused and I don't understand. Moving on, do you guys remember Death to Decaf? I mentioned her in a previous Scary Side of TikTok video because she had gone viral for talking about her missing neighbor. Now she's talking about her workplace, which is apparently quite spooky. We're in the back room at work and we just heard the loudest scream and it sounded like it came from the fitting room and we're gonna use this filter to see if anybody is in there Hold on. and it's just us in the store we're not even open yet so this is where she thought she heard something let's see Okay, now we're gonna go into the fitting room. Nope! Okay, we'll do it one more time down here and then we'll wrap this up because it was a little girl screaming. <laughs> it's gone now. The poster and her coworker heard somebody screaming, but of course when they investigate, nobody is there. That little filter that they used at the end was like an AI filter, so if you believe that that is capable of picking up ghosts, 
there were certainly a couple in that store. Next up is from one of my favorite TikTokers who is Morg. Morg lives in incredibly and notoriously haunted Appalachia and talks about her experiences on her TikTok account. This one in particular really crawled under my skin because she is talking about a painting that she purchased on like Facebook Marketplace that ended up being, of course, haunted. A few years ago, I bought a painting off of Facebook Marketplace and it turned out to be extremely haunted. If you've been here for a while, you know all about Irene, but if you don't, here's the painting of little Irene. She is absolutely stunning and she is hanging in my dining room. So one day I was just scrolling Facebook Marketplace and I came across this painting of her and I had never seen or heard anything about it, but I was drawn to this painting and I told my husband, I was like, we have to have this. I googled the phrase girl with red hair painting and immediately Irene pops up. Here's the official title. I feel like I'll butcher it, but this is the actual title of the painting. This was a commission piece for Pierre Augusta Renoir. Um, it was commissioned by Irene's father. So things started going weird as soon as I brought it in the house. No matter what, no matter how stable we make this painting, it is always tilted. Not only that, but there were a few instances that this painting was right side up, like straight, which is not normal, and every other picture in our house was tilted. We started to notice too, if we had guests over and they didn't say hi to her or acknowledge her, their things would get moved around and they would have kind of weird experiences. One of the creepiest things she does, however, is her expression will change. And I've told her story on here before and I had the same picture up here and it changed angles and her expression changed. It was while I was talking about her passing, um, her expression changed from the normal way it is to a grimace. And I'm gonna insert it here, but um, it's really cool that I caught that on camera because it happens in person all the time. But let me just show you that clip. Okay, so here's like the regular way she normally looks and then See it? Hang on, I zoom in. Look at that, that's a scowl. That is a scowl. The little Irene painting is so fascinating and Morg's experiences are not isolated. When I first initially told the story on here, I had a few people reach out to me and someone found a copy of this painting in the walls of their home when they were remodeling and when they took it out, a lot of poltergeist activity started. I'm not the only one that's had some weird occurrences with this painting. I'm so curious about this painting and the story behind it, but for now, let's go on to the next TikTok. A little break from the paranormal here, I found this TikToker who I really like. His name is Hyphonics underscore YT. And this guy really likes to entertain people on websites like Omegle or Chat Roulette in the scariest of ways. And this video is just like a compilation of some of his scares I wanted to show you. Hi. I hope you have a wonderful day and hopefully nobody hurts you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. <laughs> Whoa, what the? Why do you look so scared? Well, no, because there was this guy. <laughs> stop. What was it? You're bro, right. that, what happened to the other one, bro? Stop. Why are you guys bro, laughing? You shouldn't even be on here. Oh my god, he's so scary. I'm not scary, I just know where you live. Oh, oh, Mr. Clean! Oh my god, Mr. Clean! Yes, no. <laughs> the bottoms. Hi! You alright? Yeah, 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 we saw a bald guy with the oh. Like, I love these videos. I love watching them. They make me laugh. They do make me jump, too. Sometimes the jump scares get me. But if this actually happened to me, I wouldn't be able to sleep for weeks. And that's why I don't go on Omegle or Chat Roulette. I don't want to know what I'll find there. For a myriad of reasons, not just the actual horror. The next video was posted by PG Stories Official, though I'm unsure of the original origins. Apparently, a woman and her young son have come home to their house to find a light on that they don't remember leaving on when they left. And it appears as though someone is home. So me and my kid just got back from eating dinner and my bedroom light is on, which is strange because I don't remember leaving it on. Are you sure? Um, yeah, I'm sure I didn't leave it on, come on. Listen, I'm gonna walk inside real fast. I want you to wait out here for me. I'll stay right by the door. Yeah, I'm, I'm in, I want you. Oh my God. Somebody broke a door. 
Yeah. I don't know. Let's go. Oh. Jaden, yeah, it is. Go, go next door. Go next door and get your icy, okay? If you hear me scream, y'all hear me scream, call 911. Okay. Okay? Okay, so, walk, babe. The video cuts off here, I believe, where the woman and her son are doing like a demonstration to see if they can replicate what they saw in the window, which probably means that they never found anything inside. I'm glad that there was seemingly no intruder, but I also really wish I knew the rest of this story. Nonetheless, it's pretty creepy. I feel like so many of us are fascinated by the idea of lost media. The idea that in our day and age of 2023, we can just lose entire films, TV show episodes, and more. It's bizarre in a world where everything is so well documented. But I kept getting tagged in a lot of posts about this lost movie from the 80s called Zapotha. This video from Monday Hates You 2 breaks it down pretty well. So if you're on TikTok, you may have heard about the 80s horror film Zapotha. It's basically an 80s indie horror film that was made in 1984. And this movie didn't really gain a lot of traction back then because it wasn't released into like any theaters or like film festivals or anything. And the movie itself wasn't even put on any streaming platforms until like late 2019. And it follows the stories of multiple people within the town of Zapotha, Illinois. I can't talk about every single character in one video, but I will be talking about Elaine and her backstory and whatnot. Spoilers ahead, so be aware. So Elaine is an 18 year old girl and since she was eight, she started having these reoccurring dreams once a week in which she dreams an entire week into the future. And the twist is everything in these dreams somehow seems to come true. And Elaine didn't really put two and two together until she was around 10, in which she had another one of her dreams, in which a hooded figure was um, going on this massacre, kidnapping, killing a bunch of people, and one of these people happened to be her mother. And it just so happens that the next week, her mother, along with nine other people, go missing. And because of her dream, Elaine was actually the one to find the bodies of her mom and these nine other people. And since then, Elaine blames herself for what happened as she believes that she could have prevented it in some way and has now devoted her life to finding whoever murdered all these people and her mom and bringing this person to justice. So that whole thing sounds fascinating, right? Like how was something like this lost to time and where is it now? Well, the whole thing can be traced back to TikTok user Emily Jeffrey. She posted the following video to a song of hers that was coming out later this fall, saying, okay, a new bit idea. What if we created a fake 80s horror movie called Zapotha and started commenting, oh my god, you look exactly like that one girl from Zapotha on every thirst trap we see. Together we will witness new lore develop, main characters will emerge, and we can convince thousands of people that this weirdly titled 80s horror film actually exists. So the whole thing, Zapotha, which has gone incredibly viral by the way, was actually just a made up kind of marketing tactic for this girl's new music. But there's nothing the internet loves more than a bit, and now they have created all of these characters around Zapotha, so much lore, so much story, and I just keep seeing posts about this made-up movie left and right. There is nothing TikTok loves more than a bit, more than an inside joke that the rest of the internet won't understand for six months. The next TikTok is going to kind of be our introduction into the next several TikToks, and it originally comes from the account Win McPix. Although the one I'm about to show you was posted by Crazy Paranormal because they slow down the footage a bit, zoom some things in so you can get a better look at it all. Now, Win McPix has been experiencing a haunting since 2020. You've probably seen me put this guy's TikToks into one of these compilations before, but this one recently went viral. In it, we see that something in the basement is very hungry for attention. The black I'm doing mash. this all morning and I don't have time for this today. Stop. Hey, buddy. We, I don't, I got too much going on. You got to cut it out. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to set it up. Paper towels. And we'll just let the phone roll.
I asked you, you gotta go, or you gotta go downstairs, or something, wherever you're gonna go, you gotta go. Calm down. He's okay. Please, not today. He's okay. Please, not today. Just, holy cow. Little buddy. Little buddy. When Win McPick refers to the shadow as little buddy, it basically like doubles in size, which cannot mean good things. Kind of like it was tricking him into thinking it was a kid the whole time. This is not the first time that this poster has seen a ghost child in their home. In this clip, when the lights go crazy, we can hear what sounds like a young child calling out to him just before he goes to investigate. Yes? Hello? What is that? Who are you? I'm not gonna hurt you. Leave my lights alone. So at this point, I'm looking through the Win McPix account and seeing what scary videos I had never found before. Because like I said, this has been going on for years. In this clip in particular, Win is coming down the stairs after he hears what sounds like somebody strumming his guitar. It's starting again. It's going on again. Hello? Even after that guitar is hidden away in the garage, we still hear the music. Sometimes the spirit is not nearly this pleasant. It's in fact very, very loud. Like in this video where we just hear slamming and knocking against the walls and doors enough to make the poster's young child freak out. Days like today are no fun. No fun at all. Is it real? Yeah. Can I get it now? Stay there. And alarmingly, this spirit has been presenting itself as a kid for a very long time. In this clip, Win McPix notices what looks like a young kid sitting in the recliner in his living room, but when he goes to investigate, they disappear. It is right there this time. Hello? Hey, no, 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 stay there. Hey. Dude, it's okay, it's okay. Since it does present as a child, maybe it won't surprise you to know that this spirit is also known for playing with toys and various items in the basement. Quite loudly, might I add. You guys are hearing that, right? Hello? Ever since our cat passed away, things have kind of been picking up. I'm not going back there. Hello? Damn that. Who are you? Get the hell out of here. Jesus. 
dude. Stop. can't get anything done in this house. I mean, at all hours of the day, there is somebody knocking and slamming and some kind of paranormal activity happening. Like this guy cannot catch a break. So I don't know if you're gonna see what I'm seeing, but <laughs> this is on repeat. This happens over and over. And then the knocking happens, the knocking. There it is. And it just goes and goes until you talk to stop. Can you stop, please? I mean, it's just right there. That's new. Okay. Whatever you are, you gotta go. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Goodbye. One of the internet's favorite videos, however, was this one that was posted somewhat recently. Leave. Stop. You gotta go. Calm down. What are you? Stop! I don't, I don't even know how to explain what I've seen. Holy hell! No, this is crazy. Did you hear this last night? It was going last night. Now, did you? Charlie, come here. I could show you every single video from this account and you would probably agree that each and every one is scarier than the last. But something I wanna point out here and something that I guess a lot of people have pointed out in the comments of these videos is that Wynn is a video editor by profession. Knowing that now, watch this last TikTok because it's equal parts like impressive and horrifying. Something is watching me. If you've had the feeling, you know what I'm talking about. I'm playing only up in my office. Something keeps passing by this window. I'm gonna, I just propped up the phone here and I'm gonna play. If you're walking by my office, I want you to knock it off. Is that you making all that noise back there? This thing's always closing doors. You need to get out. Dude. Will you knock it off, please? <laughs> you gotta get out. You're, you're gonna lock yourself in the laundry room again? You're not leaving? You're not gonna... I love this account so much. Edited or not, these videos really just freak me out to the core and I love them in the most terrified of ways. Moving on, TikTok user Dark Moose Man posted this kind of recap and explanation video of what was going on with another account online. That account is up Geo, and there are some truly freaky things going on here. This account belongs to a guy named Giovanni, and he regularly features his girlfriend on there as well. And apparently, paranormal things have been happening all around them. Specifically, however, as explained in this video, something followed them home that is capable of mimicking Gio's girlfriend's voice. This Ever since something mimicking his girlfriend's voice followed him home, Giovanni and Laura have been trying to make it stop. After researching what this thing might be, 
they prepared a spiritual barrier on the door. But one night, while Giovanni and Laura are sleeping in the room, it paid them a visit. Vai embora da minha casa agora! Você não é bem-vindo aqui! You can hear Laura's voice outside their room, trying to get in. No matter what spiritual barriers or protective methods that they use, it hasn't stopped this entity from harassing them. I checked out Gio's account and he's still posting videos about this, but because it's all in Spanish, I'm not too sure what's going on. Still, it's a truly bizarre haunting and one I'm keeping an eye on. Okay, we're, we're getting back into the scares and buckle up because this one's pretty weird. This video is from Lil Saya, and I don't really know what's being said in this video, but I believe this person is exploring what looks to be an abandoned house when suddenly they realize they are not alone. One more. Hey, 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 hey. Yee. You can see what literally looks like an eye looking back at them through a crack in the door. And the light is bouncing off of this person's eyes. Like you can see it shifting. So I know it's not a trick of the light. So who was that? I've grown to really love the TikTok account Lante Scary Lives. Lante is a really cool, and I hope I'm saying his name correctly, um, he's like a really cool horror creator who makes interesting videos about paranormal games. Creepy things always happen, but this one in particular involves a game of Lights Out that he plays with his dog. Yes, I couldn't get too far away from a cute puppy, sue me. Lante's dog, Merlin, actually plays this game pretty well, as you'll see. Hello, do you want to play a game? The name of the game is Lights Out. Okay, so you're gonna stay right here, and I'm gonna be up there, and every time I turn off the lights, you can move closer to me. You have five tries to move closer to me. If you can't get to me in those five tries, you lose, okay? Okay, three, two, one, lights out. And lights on. Ooh, child. <laughs> lights out. And lights on. Ooh. Okay. Lights out. And lights on. Uh, how many tries was that? Okay, um, lights off. Lights on. I don't know where she disappeared to. <laughs> Merlin? Bruh. I don't know where Merlin went, but I do think he won, and I think he deserves a treat for winning. I really love these videos. They're creative and fun, but also pretty creepy. The TikTok account, This Is What Happens Next, has some interesting things to say about Mandela effects, and specifically how it's captured on TikTok. What if the Mandela effect could actually be proven? The Mandela effect is a phenomenon where millions of people remember past events differently from what they originally happened. For instance, the Monopoly guy using a monocle. A lot of people remember him using a monocle, but apparently he never did. If you search it up, you'll see he never did. The same thing with this video. A lot of people remember the reporter being blonde. Please. Um, I mean, I love our chances. You know, it's been... Uh, it's been... <laughs> thing is, there are a couple of people capturing the Mandela effect on camera and it's the case with the Thought Police who has been using an old phone to see somehow through a parallel dimension. This is what he recorded from the same video. You can see there, she's blonde. So this is where things get even stranger. A YouTube account captured the Mandela effect happening live. Check this I out. I hung this thing up I got a long time ago. I, uh... My cousin painted that picture, it used to be hanging over here, I've decided to move it over there, and put this over here, just for the hell of it, I'm only bringing this up because 
until I had done those two things, things were normal. I thought I was going crazy. I thought I was seeing stuff. So I'm just going to do this video so you guys can see. And I'm going to show it to you live. This book, this is one of my nephew's books. <clears throat> I'm going to show you as I pass through the, this doorway what happens. And it's weird. All right. It happens when it gets in the room. See it? And then back out here. Normal. Yeah. What the fuck? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and then normal. Uh, I don't... This is now I've seen the TikTok account The Thought Police before and this TikTok kind of jogged my memory of it. However, the other one, I think it's um, Funky Fathead on YouTube, I hadn't heard of. But let's talk a little bit about The Thought Police because you guys have been tagging me in this account for so long it feels like at this point. And on this account we see multiple examples of the Mandela Effect literally caught on camera and it's hard to explain but you'll see. The Thought Police uses this old cell phone to see these Mandela effects, like the Monopoly Man's monocle in this video, the Fruit of the Loom cornucopia, so many people remember the Fruit of the Loom logo having a cornucopia behind all the fruit. Guess what? It never existed. And what mention of the Mandela effect would be complete without mentioning the Berenstein Bears? So many people remember it being spelled Berenstein, and now it's spelled Berenstain. And in this video, the Thought Police shows one book book as it's changing. Whether this is a magic cell phone or it's just some really cool editing, I think this is a really interesting way to visualize Mandela effects in front of our very eyes. Then we have a TikTok from the user CreepTime who posted honestly the creepiest photo I've ever seen. Of course, it's from a hospital, which honestly seemed to be very haunted. Genuinely think this is one of the creepiest unexplained photos that I've ever seen. I really don't have a great explanation for it to like debunk it. So this was a photo that was apparently captured on a nurse's monitor of what appears to be someone standing over a hospital bed of a patient who died shortly after this was captured. But it's not as simple as someone. A lot of people have said that this appears to be some kind of a demon standing over the bed. That looks like something crouching over this person's bed. This photo reminds me a lot of the gameplay of the mortuary assistant, and it's kind of troubling me a little bit. I feel a little bit creeped out. That game is so scary. It's possible here that the camera malfunctioned, or this is just like a trick of the light, maybe some dust, but it just looks so clearly like a person to me. I don't really think I buy that. Like, what are the odds a camera malfunctions in just the right way to display a demon standing over someone's body? It could also be edited, but I'm just gonna leave that one somewhere far away where I couldn't even touch it with a 10-foot pole. I wanted to update you guys on Foul Mitten Outdoors, who I've mentioned in a previous Scary Side of TikTok video. Foul is like a true outdoorsman, and he uses his TikTok account to talk about his life Love of the great outdoors. Somewhere along the way in these videos, he encountered something paranormal in the woods. Now a lot of his videos focus on whatever this creature is. This one in particular shows a pair of eyes staring back at the poster from the forest. And according to him, this thing has followed him home. So this freaking thing, uh, it's staring at me. It followed me home from the gifting rock. It's about one o'clock in the morning right now. I think I'm gonna, I don't know what to do. But uh, it followed me home and it is absolutely staring at me right now. Ugh. All right. I want to quickly circle back around to him mentioning the gifting rock. The gifting rock, alarmingly, is this special rock in the forest that Fowl uses to trade items, trinkets, gifts with whatever it is that he's being haunted by. It's surrounded by this stick formation that I believe just stays the same undisturbed as time goes on. In this video, Fowl's gifts were like moss, teeth, a little piece of bark. In return, he gives a flower and a little coffee cup. That was just one example, but this next TikTok titled Gifting Rock Update 
this sent me to the hospital is not so innocent. Well guys, uh, just about to the gifting rack. And unfortunately, I couldn't get out here before it got dark. I had never liked doing this in the dark, but uh, it is what it is. So I thought I'd, we'd do a checkup on it today. That's unique. That's really cool. Now that shows some real intelligence right there. I'm gonna leave a basketball. I know it sounds stupid to leave a basketball maybe, but hey, everything likes balls, right? Nah, I said that wrong. Everything likes... That was weird. That would be a first. I just thought I heard a wood knock. All right, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Trying to get out of here. Going as fast as I can. They're being super aggressive tonight for some reason. Uh, I just got a rock thrown at me that pretty sure I cracked a rib. This is gonna be an awful, awful adventure to get out of here. But uh, it was a pretty damn big rock too. It hit me and dropped right here. Knocked the wind out of me. Uh, probably gonna have to go to the hospital after this one. Anyway, uh, I just got to get my breath. Yeah, I got to get going, man. This is bad. All right, guys. Fowl posts about these entities all the time, but nothing like this has ever happened before, where he was full on hit with a rock that sent him to the hospital. I think even Fowl himself doesn't really know what it is that he is being stalked by, followed and haunted by, and what exactly he's giving these gifts to. But I personally just, you know, maybe we don't let curiosity win this one. Maybe we survive the horror movie, Fowl. How about that? I think all of Fowl's videos are really interesting though, so check them all out. On that note, here's a little three-in-one TikTok of a few flesh pedestrians spotted in real life by yang sides. Why are the deer always flesh pedestrians, man? I was just in Washington recently. I went up to Forks, Washington for a silly little girls trip with my best friend and we saw deer everywhere. They were so peaceful. They were so nice. They never ran away from us. They always just kind of stared at us. And I think that if I had watched this first, I would have been real freaked out to see them. Nope. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, oh, just some cruisers, man. That's crazy shit. He's crawling at me like a goddamn... What's up, dude? That ain't no buck. Uh, I think I thought I seen a big buck or something. Wait, wait, stop right there. What is that? Is that a buck? <gasps> what is that? Dude, that's what... Next from Tierra Soros Rex, this poster and her friend had an Airbnb experience that will leave you so unsettled. Like it starts off kind of crazy. They get to the Airbnb, the address that they were given was incorrect and they're not allowed to enter the house through the front door. There are also keys to the doors they are allowed to go into hidden around the property. That key right there. This key. Mm -hmm. this key right here. Our key does not have a little fob on it, mind you. It's just a little key. <laughs> so we go into the home through this back door, enter into the bedroom. Um, there are strange tunnels, holes, and ways through this home. Besides the cabinet that goes into the bedroom, we're in. Wait, there it is. Stick your finger through it. There's a peephole. Um, we have evidence that there used to be locks on the outside. Where is it? Outside of bedroom doors. See? Wow. And need you look at that, these little closets with their own little locks on them that open up into areas that look like this with warm, dark holes that lead to other rooms. Let's go to the basement now. This door leads to God knows where. There used to be a lock on the outside. There's just this little wood block that seems to be turned quite regularly, keeping it closed with an open vent above it. Um, And then there's this man-sized tunnel, a man-sized tunnel. Besides that, we got minor inconveniences, like there was a TV that's supposed to be there, I don't see a TV, things like that. You know, just normal sus Airbnb things. Oh, and by the way, there's no Wi-Fi. Yeah, there's no Wi-Fi. No you wifi. have to pay for that separately. And honestly, that Wi-Fi is a part of another person's Wi-Fi plan. <laughs> Mind you, we paid 
over three and a half grand for this for a week and a half. Maybe about two weeks total. The girls ended up staying at this Airbnb and lived to tell the tale, but that really scared me personally. I don't know if I could stay after that. Like not the peephole in the wall, like not the peephole in the wall and all of the keys just around the property that allow whoever stumbles upon them to go in. I have so many Airbnb horror stories. I will sit here and tell you how dangerous so many Airbnbs are until the cows come home. Please be safe out there. We've been talking about the back rooms lately. We We've been talking a little Disney lately. I did just publish a like scary Disney animatronics video about abandoned Disney animatronics. Please watch that. It took so long to make and it kind of low key flopped a tiny bit. I'll have it linked down below. Anyway, back rooms Disney. What if we take a look at the back rooms of Disney? Backrooms underscore archived has a few videos of the supposed back rooms of Disney World. Ex Disney yeah, can you help me get out of here? Exposes the back rooms. I've been freaking trying to get out of here for the last like 10, 15 minutes. Did you have no, I just freaking tried to go to the bathroom and I found myself Were you in, in the middle car? of nowhere. Yeah, I'm a freaking I'm a guest. Where's my card? Um, let me get Carolyn to help me yeah. out. Okay. How did you get back here? I just open a random door and next thing you know I'm in here. What is that? This is just an old building. I don't talk to you out. Okay. You just need to get the right person to do it. What is this place? This is just an unused office space. Whoa. As it turns out, this is just the now abandoned Wonders of Life pavilion, but it is very much so giving liminal space throughout these TikToks. In the second video, we get a lot of really good shots of this area as the poster is escorted out, including parts of Disney I never knew existed. Yes, we've got a nice elevator. How'd you find your way up here? Not even sure? I have no clue. Yeah. I really don't. This is the right floor, but... Yes. All right. Where are we now? Take you right back this way. Ultimately, is this the back rooms? No, but it is so weird to see stuff that Disney has abandoned, okay? Yes, I published a full 30 minute video about it and I'm still not shutting up about it because what do you mean? This entire area has just been left to rot by Disney and just looks like a perfect backroom space because that's how empty and unused it is. In Disney World, in the middle of Disney World. Anyway, the next video is from Covey1996, who posted a video of a horror story I feel like even Stephen King would love. What kind of pet cemetery bullshit is this? I buried this cat this morning. I buried him in the damn yard. Patrick. Patrick, I thought you were dead. I thought you were dead. I thought you got hit by a car and died. Who the heck? Who did I bury? What's going on? It's giving very pet cemetery, right? It's actually kind of a sad story, so buckle in. So I did a little bit of digging and it turns out that Patrick is slash was the neighbor's cat and the neighbors really were not taking care of Patrick at all. Kobe has been feeding Patrick in hopes of eventually trapping him and neutering him as she's super passionate about cat rescue and just animal care in general. And when she found Patrick unalived, it really sent her into a spiral. Like she really cared about getting this cat help. And then suddenly Patrick is there again in her driveway. Most people have pointed out in the comments, this has to be just a case of two identical cats, but what are the odds? The next video I spotted from The Bonehead, but it's originally from TikTok user Jenna Conkus. And Jenna is just laying in bed one night when she spots something in the dark. She thinks it's her cat Pip, so she calls for him. Pip? Come here, guy. Buddy. I did look at Jenna's account after this and she does have two cats, so this probably was not paranormal, but the video scared the crap out of me. Pip just walking in while those eyes behind him slowly disappear is super freaky. 
I know I'm late on this, but there have been updates about the plain lady that I mentioned in a previous scary side of TikTok video. The plain lady, the lady who freaked out on a plane, the that mother is not real lady. Yeah, she's been identified as Tiffany Gomez. As TikTok user Ash Shell Noak explains, Tiffany was not like drunk, she wasn't on substances, she wasn't having a mental breakdown, she was literally on her way to take a cruise when this went down. Number one, she's alive. She did not disappear. She was going on a cruise, which would explain the disappearance. And can you imagine going on vacation and then coming back to reality and realizing that you are a trending audio on all of social media? Second of all, she was not drunk not drinking, not drunk, which I have to be honest, I thought when I first initially saw the video, and I just want to clear that up because I know that there were a lot of people bashing her. Number three, the guy sitting next to her, the that mother is not real. I don't know what all happened. Part of the conversation, however, I do know something was misplaced. She looked at him and he looked back at her and said, I am going to take this whole plane down. That's what I know. This is what I know. And I hope, I hope, one, I'm glad that she's alive and safe. Two, I hope that when she feels comfortable, I'm safe, if she ever does, uh, that she publicly makes a video and gives us all of the details. After this additional context, I kind of felt like I understood the situation a bit better. But then Tiffany released a video of her own through TMZ, saying that while she was distressed, she should have been in charge of her emotions and that she apologized to everyone who was on the plane that day, especially people with children. I personally felt like this was such a good like ownership of what had happened. You know, you're not really talking about what happened and I understand not wanting to do that either, but apologizing for your own actions and stuff just feels like a very mature and good way, I guess, to go about it. But people have a lot of conspiracy theories behind this, saying that Tiffany is not the plain lady, that it's someone else. Makeup is a thing, like being exhausted on a plane and being filmed from different angles is a thing, you know? I honestly think that this person was just trying to take accountability in the best way she could, and I think think it's a good thing. I hope she's healing. I just wanted to kind of close up the that mother effer is not real story for you, just in case you heard about it through me. The following video is a bit of a more serious one, and I'm sharing it in hopes that you guys will support and boost this story. I'd like to make a full video on this topic and have gotten the poster's permission to do so. Her name is Liz the Former on TikTok, and she is a victim of the JMS cult, which classifies itself as like a Christian new religion movement, but is very much so a cult. Liz was only 18 years old when she was dragged into this cult and they scouted her at a mall. A fellow young woman, probably one who was right around Liz's age, asked Liz to take this survey in order to help her with her studies. That's all it took. I was brainwashed into the destructive cult JMS led by convicted serial Jung Myung Sook. A lot of you have been asking me since speaking out, how on earth does anyone get brainwashed? Story time. I first met a member of JMS when I was at the mall. Um, I was 18 years old and I was shopping with a friend. I was coming out of a bookshop and a woman stopped me in my tracks. She had a clipboard. Uh, she was really smiley and friendly and she just said, I'm studying here in Australia um, and I'm at uni. And I have a survey that I'm doing. I'm trying to find out more about Australian culture. And I kind of just did the survey to get rid of her because I didn't want to be rude. Um, and so I filled out all of the questions. The very last question at the bottom said something about like, what religion do you follow? Or are you religious at all? If so, what is it? She was like, oh, wow, you're a Christian. Oh, I'm actually, I'm also like studying a bit more about Australian religion as well as culture. And I have a follow-up survey. Would you mind if I got your email address and I can send it to you? I provided my email address and that was that. She emailed me back a couple of days later. I gave her some responses. Um, it was specifically about faith, about what you believe. I sent back my answers. She responded 
maybe a day later and said, oh wow, your answers are amazing, your heart is so pure. But in part two, Liz explains how they followed up with her. Basically, by stalking her at a mall and hoping to use her religion as a way to indoctrinate her into the cult. Literally two weeks later, I was in a different mall on my lunch break, I was working retail at the time, and I got approached by another woman with a clipboard. She asked me to do the same survey for the same reasons she's studying Australian culture. And I was like, oh, I've already done that survey. And she goes, what's your name? And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm Liz. And I did not expect what happened next. She started like going, oh my God, I know you. Yeah, you're f my friend mentioned you. Like she said, your answers were amazing. Like you're a Christian. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Like she's like, I'm, I'm a Christian too. We're all Christians. And I was like, oh, that, oh, that's cool. Like I hadn't realized. I was a little shocked at, that she knew me, but I was also again, kind of flattered. So it was this weird kind of, you know, she was showing me a lot of warmth and, and genuine interest. And of course I'm going to be flattered at that. She goes, we're all Christians. A few of us are artists and, uh, and we run exhibitions, um, that are themed according to like the church and biblical characters. And we are trying to find Christian people to model biblical characters that we can sketch them and enter them into our exhibition. I was like, that, that sounds pretty cool. Like I was still cautious. I don't know this person. Right. And she goes, Oh, I'll, I'll, I've got your email address. Cause my friend has it. I'll email you some of the examples of the work that we've done in previous exhibitions. These pictures are stunning. Like someone is really talented. They've done beautiful paintings, um, artwork all based on the Bible. And I thought that's such a beautiful and creative way to express your faith. Fast forward to the time we meet, there ended up being another woman there and she was Aussie and she was super cool, like really friendly. We ended up just like walking and talking a bit, getting tea. And, um, and then she was like, Hey, we, we actually got some like special Japanese snacks back at our apartment. It's just across the road from the mall. Do you want to come and, you know, do you want to read the Bible with us? Now I just want to pause this and say, cults don't just target religious people. They go for everyone and they have methods for every single type of person, right? So the Christian part of me, that's what they were appealing to. Someone who's an atheist, someone who's a agnostic, someone who's Buddhist, whatever it might be, they have got a strategy for hooking you in. But that's the facade they put on with me. And let me tell you, it worked. Liz's story is horrifying and her bravery to come forward and talk about this is so commendable. Like she just seems like the loveliest, like strongest human being. And I'm really, really happy that she's able to share her story. But she is just one of so many victims of this cult. The leader, whose name I'm going to absolutely butcher here, but I'm trying my best, is Jung Myung Sok, who was arrested in 2022 on SA charges, and he is now due to stand trial. Please check out Liz's TikTok. I'll have it linked down below, of course, and boost and share her story. Finally, our very last video, our 50th TikTok. Can you believe we've watched 49 TikToks so far? This is from Kay Korba on TikTok. Have you ever seen this trend before? It's like a sound from the Mandela catalog that says, if you see someone who looks identical to you, run away and hide. Tons of creepy videos have come out of this but this one has to be my favorite. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. That is such nightmare fuel and it's such a good video. It has like well over 20 million views now. I love that trend. So many good videos have come out of it, but Corbo wins. There you guys have it. That was 50 TikToks from the scary side of TikTok. We've been on quite the journey together today going through all of these scary TikToks. I really hope you all enjoyed. It has been a while since I filmed one of my scary side of TikTok videos like this. I've been toying around with my video style to see both 
what works for me and what works for you guys. But moving forward, you can expect these videos to be shot like this, unless, of course, I'm streaming. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. A huge thank you to my wonderful channel members for supporting the channel. If you guys want to join the channel memberships and get extra members exclusive perks such as members only videos, polls to help me decide on future video topics, members only posts and updates and so much more, you can click that little join button. It should be somewhere around the screen. We would love to have you. A special thank you to our VIP loves for their continued and generous support of our channel. I appreciate you very, very much. Until next time, I love you so very much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!